G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is Unstoppable Monster. What you're looking at here is a semi-unique sort of thing. Originally, this was available to players if they played the uh, survival servers back in the day. They tried to get people to play survival because no one was by offering you some cool, unique weapons for you to grab if you did certain challenges. Although, it was easy for me because I was in Australian servers, and they were basically dead empty. It would have been hard-pressed to find more than four people on the server at once, so all of my challenges were super easy. It was just finding the things. I think I remember this being, you got to be starving and kill, like, five critters or something. Very easy. Just get yourself parasites, but that guy's neither here or there. It was, it was there, but there's not now. So we're doing 284 damage with this thing. Power attack is going to make that a little bit stronger, but once we add in the perks, we're not going to get a whole lot of damage. Adding 20% additive and uh, what's uh, here, 15% additive for bloody mess. We've got 304 damage, so we've only gained like 20 damage by, you know, specking out to it. But that's okay because we've specked out in other ways like Nerd Rage, Enforcer Sneak, Ninja, Blocker, Martial Artist, Incisor, and Barbarian. So, you know, we've got good sort of uh, tanky survivability and sneaky stuff here. So, you know, unfortunately we can't boost that all that much with what perks we have, but... That's okay, we've also got our yielding stuff, which you'll use to boost it again now. Okay, now we've crossed over the Nerd Rage threshold. We've got 48 strength, because all of my unyielding bits also have plus one strength on them, which is good for your know, punching stuff. And with all of those bonuses, we're doing 517. Now, if Bethesda, you know, their implemented melee fixes that they've talked about is going to fix this additive strength bonus thing, we might get more damage than that. Um, in a couple of weeks time when they patch the game and if so I might retest this just so people can actually see it because you know with the balance changes happening and what they are doing the game's kind of in a fluid state I might need to revisit weapons a few times because they might change stuff overnight who even knows this game could go anywhere and uh, hopefully it goes into modding so I can you know don't have to grind anymore Okay, welcome to the video production facility. As soon as I'm done here, I'm rendering this thing and I'm playing XCOM 2 again. I'm excited. Anyways, we're sneaking up. The Super Mutant Overlords are weak and impotent. They should go down in one. And we're hitting them for 960 something. We get adrenaline off every kill. So if we can keep this sneaky nonsense going, we can hit for over a thousand. That guy's blowing up the car very quite a mutant. But unfortunately, I was nowhere near the car. And have fireproof. Not the dense chest piece today because uh, we've got asbestos line, which I could probably you know switch out because this is, this is still my Earl fighting stuff. I haven't actually changed gear in a while now. I think I saw a couple of doggos run over here. Now, unfortunately, we're going to be a little bit slow going because uh, well, nice panic fire there. No, he's. I think he's onto us. Ah, no, we can't. We can't one shot him. That's such a cock block. Oh, I'm in danger. Not anymore, hopefully. Hey, look, the game's kind of uh, hinting for me to use uh, things that would save my life. We'll get him staggered. A little bit of a uh, little bit of that um, follow-through bonus on him. I was actually reaching for the, uh, the purified waters there, which is actually not keyed on three, but yeah. Okay, so I'm actually kind of disappointed in this thing so far. I should be hitting these guys and killing them in one shot, and there's no ifs, buts, or poos about it. We'll continue, however. We should be able to make better use out of this thing. Perhaps if we, you know, aim for the face and punch them there. We'll see how we go with that. Well, that guy falls apart in one. But again, with that overlords and we're also sneaking again, which is good. No, nah, that's not a terrible spear, is it? Except that it is because it's junkies and it is also a melee weapon. Yeah, the, the melee hitting things aren't really cool these days. Not being killed by a stupid mutant with a laser gun, that's for sure. Also, that thing exploded twice. Always reloading. Oh, another legendary. Making it pretty hard on me today, Bethesda. Don't get this many legendaries when I'm going to do none of this uh, stealth commando stuff. But, you know, you want to put the pressure on me today, do you? I actually want to make a quick comparison here. Here's a bloodied explosive combat shotgun. Unspecked. Also reloaded. And we get a similar time to kill. 
at close range where is where you're gonna be hitting stuff with your melee unless you're like you're one-shotting them but still i think it's a more effective solution to killing a bunch of mutants very quickly than a weapon like this which you know back in the day this would one tap anything scorch beast yeah easy anti-armor plasma gun it's annoying it's one star we were close to greatness now where's the next one there he is yes i've memorized the spawns quite well i think so we're not being detected or come on jump over that or anything right now so you know so far so good but it's going to be like i said slow going but i think it's better for my survivability to be sneaking here because i can't take much in the combat because they'll just kill me and gang up on me and that's bad and that guy didn't even it's weird i didn't even one shot that one Kind of makes combat a little bit awkward when you're sitting there right in front of them slashing at them like that but eh, this is why it should be just be a boop on the nose and that's them done see you later mate there's another dog not super worried about him there's another one star it's another junky thing so overrated all right we'll quickly sneak over let's sneak over no let's not sneak we'll just uh melee attack him and hit him okay we're doing better now. We've we've picked up the speed a little bit. We're encountering warlords and uh, overlords, which you know, as you can tell, the power attack will kill them, and we can almost finish. Oh yeah, demolisher there. I think someone's shooting at me. Maybe I should go find them. Looks like the reinforcements have been called. Also, why haven't I been using bats this whole time? I've got a bunch of legendary perks that gives me explosions when that happens. Oh, I know why. Well, I've spotted another guy. There you go, and there's another overlord goes down. I don't know where they get these extra reinforcements. I feel like they're just clipping through the walls on that other room that I don't bother usually clearing out. And, uh, just like, yeah, whatever, mate. It's a very strange world where it's more dangerous to me, you know, hitting a dog and doing that. Maybe I should have run around the back so he wouldn't have bitten me right away. But I staggered him out of the howling animation. It did me damage. Is it too much to ask for this to be a one-shot kill every time? Or is that too overpowered, Bethesda? I guess it is, because that's why they nerfed it. Melee fucking sucks now, dude. I don't like it. And you know why it sucks? Let's try to figure out why. Try to explain why. There's a, there's a, a thing, a concept, called risk versus reward. I'm taking a big old risk running around with this many rads, with this many ghouls, and what is the risk? It's just low health, higher rads and everything. Obviously, we're going to be one-shotting all of these punks because they're just ghouls and they're a little bit more squishy than mutants. But, you know, it's like I'm putting oh, I'm putting my character's life in the line. Not that it means a lot. It, it's a, like, maybe it's like a... A thing for inconvenience sake it's like i've got all this low health and maybe it might matter if i die if i'm against earl or something especially against earl where my bloody um swing speed power fist is like 100 damage to him yeah you try wearing down a 32,000 health thing hitting for 100 at a time uh word to the wise you won't but yeah there's no real reward for the risk i'm taking here and that's the thing apparently that ghoul died in an explosion that happened that's good also that's not being able to lock onto something if one single vertice of its 3d model is in a wall or so that did nothing it was very nice of him to stand there and take it but it took way too long it's just not as good as it used to be so i'm taking out my frustrations on rad roaches so i'm actually keen to see whether they actually up the damage I really hope they're not going to stop at making it more consistent in VATS because we need a big old buff here because these builds have fallen so much. They used to be so good. They used to be right up there with Stealth Commander without the range, right? But now you don't have, you don't have the range or you don't have the power anymore. You don't have anything going for this thing. Oh yeah, you want to fight me, Mr. Ghoul? It didn't go too well for you, did it? Also, you can tell in the uh, AP there... You can see that they've got the little health regenerating. They've actually made a little marker for that. So that's nice. 
I remember when they first rolled out or announced that the damage nerf would be happening. They said it was to make weapons perform predictively or some shit, or to make balance easier because we... Like, like what a load of hogwash that is. What a load of crap. You just wanted to make this game more of a grind and make it less fun for us fucking speedrunners. That's what happened. And I will never stop believing it. I'll never not be mad. There's the crazy laser gun guy. Nope, not him. And apparently even the Blood Eagles think that these uh, builds are useless because I whacked him with an unstoppable monster and that's what they said. They told me this build was useless. That one not so much because he exploded into little bloody giblets. But yes, these guys are squishy. We've got a more adequate foe coming up in a second. If anything, those guys are there for adrenaline fodder. No um, crazy laser gun guy today. Maybe he had a handmade or something, which is a poor choice because the laser guns proportionally do so much more damage than anything ever even the super mutant sniper laser guns do a ton of damage now just a shit ton of it i think he's actually sitting in too deep water that i'll actually go s and start swimming maybe all right well three shots is okay i guess hey rad rumbles on i'll be ignoring that though because i've got weapons to record and also stones and rocks to jump out of and to add to my point at bethesda just making the damage nerf happen because of grinding reasons like they said that they would address and balance things later on come here you bastard Look at this fucking sponge looking dude come on wow that was an incredibly awkward fight and i really wish it was just one shot at him so I'm making the effort to run up to these guys and hitting them multiple times in bat, so you may as well reward me for it, right? Am I so wrong in assuming that? Who knows? Anyways, that my lurk king is fighting some crackheads, so we'll just uh, get in on this fight. Clear out the uh, trash here. That's a fusion core and a gatling laser. That's kind of not necessary for me to have. Anyways, so this guy over here, he's probably going to kill me, and let's count how many shots it is going to take. Oh, he's stuck in reverse. See, they gave these guys manual transmission. And it's not working as much. The legendary perks where you get an explosion when you hit stuff is actually doing a lot more for the damage than anything. And why are you all running away? Just come closer. i got to chase you down. Then I don't have any AP left for hitting you. I mean, the weapon still does all right. It's just so slow these days. It's not really that fun to use. I wanted to boop a Scorch Beast clean in the head for more damage than what I'm getting now, and um, how do you do this? I don't have any grenades equipped. Floater grenade. That can be the sacrifice. And we'll be going for the legs here for power attacking. 511, 562, 562, 1100. Wow, this really sucks, Bethesda. It's just awkward and shit and clunky and bad. And I understand they've got like a fucking 8 billion health, but why? It's like risk versus reward. It's not working. There's no rewards here for the risk I'm taking. Tell you what, though, I'm fucking sick and tired of these sponges being in the game. Like, compared to basically literally anything else in Appalachia at the moment, they're so fucking powerful. The bats are supposed to be the big bad. We're not getting all up in arms about Milo Queens running around. No, the bats actually, never mind. The NPCs don't care about the Scorched either. Ugh, this game. Now, what I probably could have done against that Mylurk Queen was, uh, you know, whip out the shotgun first. Not only, you know, crippling its legs so it can't move, but also um, getting that follow-through bonus, which is multiplicative and really fucking powerful. Um, we're going to do the same against this guy. We'll reset the uh, timer there and creep him on the nose. Is that worth it? I don't know. We aren't in Nerd Rage either, so we're getting slightly less damage than we should. A bunch of thirsty dudes run about. Um, that one died. I still don't know how the, um... What is it called? The hack and slash thing? Or, yeah, hack and slash. I don't know how that's calculated. If it's a percentage of how much damage you deal. Or anything. Which kind of is stupid these days, because... 
um, you can't power attack in that, so the secondary legendary effect is completely unusable. So, swing speed or bust, basically. That seemed to do a good job against those chumps, though. We keep on grouping this guy in the nose. We might get detected here. We probably will. There we go. Blew, have blew him up and hit him before he even got out. And you are way close. You go into the fires of Mount Doom, please. Okay, didn't get you to fall down. That's very unfortunate. We'll just get you nice and uh, crippled there. Someone's shooting at me with a grenade launcher, and he's doing an okay job. I'll give him that. And we're going to give this one a fisting, I reckon. Ooh, we didn't like that. He's on the move now. It was a cheap circumcision. A, uh, a rip-off, if you will. Hey, look. I'm using a shotgun now. I think the shotgun's better. I reckon I could have an easier time with a shotgun, because I've already got an enforcer proccing at all the moments, right? Don't know what's still out there. There's that guy. I guess we'll... Ignore him. I, he's too far away. I can't be bothered tracking him down. Oh, so there you have it. And a new and uh, unimproved look at the ensemble monster. Was it a good weapon? Nah. I kind of don't rate melee weapons anymore. So here's hoping a patch can sort this shit out so these can be fun again. I'd make melee weapons fun again. M M F A. Okay, no, that's that doesn't work as well as Maga, but that. That never worked either, did it? Oh, topical political joke. And on that note, catches, I'm out of here.